Hello everybody, my name is Superstar. Welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange, where we last left off. Um, we were really just talking to everybody, and we got a little uh, revenge on Victoria for being mean. But then we were nice to her in the end, so, and she showed us a, a softer side to her. Welcome to Black Hill. That's pretty clever. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. So now we're in the dormitories, and we gotta... We gotta do stuff. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. We've got HIV and AIDS, a reward for my backpack with all my school books, and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. To, okay, the Franju New Face Cream. Creme. I need it for my acne. Wow. People are weird. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. <laughs> That's a nice little uh, Easter egg, or reference, or whatever you want to call it. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Can you hear me? Yes, we all can. Please respect our floor and neighbor. Be quiet in the halls after... 10 p.m. Thank you for listening. See Kate's video for proof. Safe, not sorry, no matter how much... No matter how much you like each other, one slip up can change your life. You have no... You have a choice. There's nothing wrong with waiting. See Kate's video for proof. That's weird, man. Why are they talking about Kate in her video, man? Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. And nowhere, because no one can find her. Ha, huh? lol. Nice Bad humor. shot. Needs dusting. At least that's an alarm from this century. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Will bang for Jesus. What? Let's just change that up. This action will have consequences. Of course it will, but I, I'm okay with those consequences. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. What does it say? Be... Be the change that you wish to see? Gandhi? C can we enter her room? No? Okay, that's okay. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Interesting. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Maybe not all over, but you know. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Oh, that's she's sad. so plain. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Oh, that's not true. You have tons to say in your mind. We get it. She's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. Well, yeah, generally you want to find a missing girl if you like her. Could be fun. Or even if you don't, you generally don't want I'm someone missing. Why the nerd around here? You know? Showers. Open. Took me way too long to read that. What's this? Hold on. Didn't even look at this stuff. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Okay, let's just let's just stop. We've we've seen everything and there's not much left. Let's just enter the room. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. This is the picture she took right here. She somehow got herself here and then took the picture from behind, which is pretty cool. The Max Caulfield photo memorial. It's actually really cool that picture was. Ooh, got this from my mom. Captain. At least I know you've got my back. In game, not IRL. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <laughs> Check that. Oh, okay, hold on. There's something here. Uh, David and the principal and mom. Hi, honey, your principal sent me an email saying that he's concerned about your attitude and behavior that you are not fitting in well and hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to... What? Dude, really? I'm hiding in my dorm? How would he even know that? Does he hang out outside the girls' dormitory? Being like, hey, Max, is Max coming out today? Max, Max! Even if you are all grown up now, but you are there to change the world with your camera. Please call me soon. To chat, we miss you. Mommy. She gonna say anything? Or? It feels so nice to just relax. 
This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. That would be or sad. Like said, a dream within a dream. Because superpowers are cool. Okay, I think we're down here. Let's take a look around. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. And he totally is in love with you. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty obvious. And you're just going on about how perfect Brooke and him are together. You're so oblivious, Max. Come on. Cookie, cookie. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut. Dude, cookies get devoured when I'm at when I'm at university or at school or whatever. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Ooh, Dana even sent us a birthday card? That's awesome. Oh no, it's from our mother and father. Never mind. That day is from Dana. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Agreed. I just wear jeans 24-7 and I'm okay with that. Jeans and button-up shirts. What was the saying about, yeah, cookies just get devoured. Like, I just buy packs. I, my cookie budget is probably higher than, like, my normal food budget. Because cookies are amazing. And I, I'm a child who eats cookies for breakfast. <laughs> uh. Okay, enough of that. Yeah, honestly, what I wear is, is just jeans, like a t-shirt, and a hoodie, like, every day to school. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. Max and I would be perfect for each other. Can I just say that? Can I just address the elephant in the room that Max is my waifu? Because, like, seriously, we are perfect for each other. Come on. Come, come on. Come on. Can I just look at the... Can I just look at what's, whatever's in there? No? You don't? Okay, fine. Forget it. I don't care. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Ooh, let's water the plant. Let's you be nice. Thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. That's a very little amount of water for that plant, but okay. The action will have consequences, if really? Just watering the plant? Viewfinder. I'm looking through a window. Always looking. The winger and the cow. Okay, let's read the book. Okay, I'm looking at everything, and it's getting a little bit probably annoying that nothing's happening. I'm just looking at everything. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. I don't think I have to look at everything, per se. Shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Okay, Max, you're a total nerd. Like, super. And you haven't even taken off your, your bag for some reason. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Probably I will. I'm so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. That's an interesting site, and it's Google Chrome. Is it Google Chrome? It looks like Google Chrome. It totally is Google Chrome. Porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Dude, he's in love with you. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV cult classic and fucked up films on a fat flash drive. If you ever... He used the word fat. Are you kidding me? Everyone to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I am a scientist more than an artist. Now you can you quickly explain to me how a camera works? Eh, yeah, that's nice, but also totally in love with you, Max. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Oh, that was weird. The post-it note message went with the with the mother's photo, the um, the text for it at least, and then the text for the the mother not photo card for birthday my mom and dad's card or Max's mom and dad's card, text went with this. I don't know if you noticed that, but the text was 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 the opposite. They switched them. I don't know. That's a glitch in the game. Your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Why would you assume there's flicks on it? Have to go get the flash drive you didn't know that Warren room. put stuff on it for me. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. It's weird. If she had a friend in the city, why didn't she call them already if she's been back in town? 
Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Some nice music. I'll just let that play. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. This is some really nice, like, a calming music. Warren even left me a little. Yeah, I read that one. Okay, let's drive. let's let's get out of here. He's such a goofball. He is a goofball. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh wow, I need to get Dana's room. Can you not do? Can you not have like your lover spat right now, please? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Yeah, I know, right? Stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything? Oh, cool? that name oh, though. Yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did Just you find out? Just a little. Out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? Because I need you into the talk. room. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Oh, that's I right. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Total guess. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarter. Of course. According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the <laughs> Like exactly an oh moment right there. Phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. That Straight seems... To hell. All right, then I know where her room is. I already wanted to go in there. Let's do this. The girl seems like she's she's acting a little crazy, you know? Like, oh, we can, I could yell at you, I could, you know, slap you, and we can have a cat fight, or I can lock you in your room for all eternity, you know? Let's take a look at, at her stuff now. Why did she? Why does she have all this expensive stuff, and then she doesn't even bother closing her door? Speaking of selfies, that's mess. That's mess. No, I didn't want to leave. Damn it. Wanted to mess things up, because I'm I'm evil, but then Victoria just... I mean, she was nice for, like, a minute, but then she just... Uh, and now there's proof she did something evil again, so how can I live with this? I am... I am... Let's I am the truth. I am justice. I am Victoria Maxine message. Caulfield. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Well, maybe you should close your door and this wouldn't happen, then. Victoria, you have all this expensive stuff, and you're like, oh my god, people stole it. What are they gonna do? I'm gonna be mean to Max because she's the first person I hate. They're also mean to to what's her name though, Whoa, Kate. I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. I forgot looking at that stuff. If it's not like, if I can't like interact with it, then I don't care. Like if I can't use it or read it or something, then there's no point. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. What do you need a 3D printer for? What are you going to 3D print, Victoria? Clothes? That stuff's not big enough for that. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Leaflet missing persons poster. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Yeah, that's a pretty that's pretty pretty messed up. Gazette TV. Okay, I've seen wait, what's on the ground? Shoes. Obviously the shoes. I forgot to mention the shoes. Alright, let's look at user computer, that's probably where it's gonna be. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email. Why would she leave this open? Yet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. I want to read it. So, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believe me, and, and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for sliding Zach away from me. As for Dana, wow. Wow, get out your popcorn? Wow, this girl's like seriously insecure. Print that email, man. I promise you, print is not one click away. At the very least, it's like a control P. 
You don't just hit a space bar and it prints. All right, Max. What, what world are you living in? This better convince. I will Juliet accept. I will accept innocent. that you can rewind time, but you cannot space space bar and print something unless you have a macro set up or something. You manually rewrite the keys or whatever. You know, remap the keys. Wait, her room's right across from mine. I didn't even know that. Okay, let's go back. Let's solve this mess. Juliet, read this. If you can read. Of course. I know he didn't expect that. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. I don't know. I, I hate to say I hate to be like judging a book by its cover, but Dana doesn't look like Almost a nice girl, done. but she really does Get act like a nice girl. And then I'll go you know? Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously. Thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. How does that even happen? Isn't Real the lock mature. on the inside? Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with Yeah, you. I know, right? What do you mean? Because I'm Maxine and I don't know anything. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. It would be a cool sticker without the words. What are the words? I can't even see them. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want it. Oh, God. Is that what I think it is? Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't. I thought. I didn't know that was pregnancy nice, test. Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Okay, we'll skip this. I went back a little too far. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Center for Women's Health. Is she pregnant? I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Alright, let's take the flash drive first of all. Can I look at her computer? Is that the thing? That's not of totally course rude. A popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media. A thousand is not a million, Max. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Wait, can I? Of course, a popular no, okay, never mind. Like Dana would have a million friends. Right, let's take that. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Oh God. La la la! I don't see that pregnancy test. I wonder if is there a way I can take it, or just get her angry. This is both sad and pathetic. Tina, suck at writing, but I thought I should write this. So you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need any money, let me know. Wow. You end up with a, you need any money, let me know? Gold digger much? Is that all you consider her? But like, if you ever need any money, I won't help you in any other way, though. You need a friend. If you need, you know, a ride somewhere. If you need any money, let me know. <laughs> okay. Warren, how are you? <laughs> cool. Cool. I want to check out the flash drive first, though. Like, what's on it? Is that alright? Warren will wait. He loves me. He loves Max. I I, I keep saying me, but I'm talking about Max. Flash drive. There we go. I better make sure everything is still in there. Weird I Science, Warren's Incredible Film Library, Greatest, TV Muzak, Randoms Not Downloaded, The Party Buster, and Unholy Obscenities. Ugh. 
and Max in all caps. Unholy obscenities. What the crap is that? That sounds. Ugh, I think I know what that is actually, and I don't want to. I don't want to entertain those thoughts. All right, let's head out of here. Is this just like a is this not like a one a one floor dorm? Because there's definitely more to this building on the outside, and there's no stairs though. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh God! Oh, wow! Hurt. Damn! I better rewind. Definitely. Thank you for telling me what to do, Max. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Wow! I love it. people don't do people don't do that. People are never like. Someone told me to do something. I'm gonna do it right now, immediately, about. without any negotiation or questioning. Victoria, by the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Actually, that's kind of nice of her. I feel bad for messing up her pictures again. Because she went out of her way to say thanks. And then, you know, not completely lose her rep for being a mean girl. So she was like, okay, we're not friends, though. But, I mean, seriously. I wanna. Can I go see the totem, please? Is this not a thing I can do? I just want to see the totem. Like, where'd, where'd Kate go? It must have been a while, though, because it's, it's evening now. Or almost. The sun's going down. You can see by the lighting. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I don't care. All right, let's. Just... I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. You're weird, Max. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? That means they watch you sleep, Max. Ooh, creepy. Oh, there's Kate. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? What is this guy's no, problem? Ed, leave me alone. Should I take a photo or should I intervene? I think I should intervene. I don't think Max... I mean, Max likes taking photos, but at this point in time, she knows David's a jerk and that Kate didn't do anything wrong, most likely. So let's intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. <laughs> no, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. What is this guy's problem, dude? Like, seriously. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I probably should have taken a photo first because I knew I wanted to make that decision because now I want to like see what the other option does. Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Skip that. Take a photo. So this will be quick, guys. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out I love how he didn't notice the camera, own. but she did. Leave me alone. All right. But only because you asked nicely. You didn't say, please, Missy, we would have had another story on our hands. She looks angry. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Yeah, I, I really feel like this girl's like really depressed or down about something. People are being mean to her. And it probably wouldn't be a good idea for... That her to think I'm not so her friend or anything like that. I could rewind and try something different. Yeah, skip that. Intervene. Skip. Hey. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm 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 good with that. I'm good with that completely. I love how every time you go to a new area, it's like did you have this acoustic music and you've got this weird these weird you know uh, establishing shots that are nice but just interesting it's a good style for the game you know get that really nice soft acoustic uh, relaxing music going because th this the story wise things are getting crazy people are there are guns and rewinding time and people are being I'm like stream bullies time. can't stand to see people being bullied it's I don't get it how could Zach and Victoria do that to me you're still worrying about that? How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. 
Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. I love how you just jumped that. You just you just went, whoa. I got my own problems, but by the way, there's someone who loves you. <laughs> I don't, also, that's another thing I don't know. You'll, you'll certainly learn about me, a lot about me with this game, because I really don't understand these people. The human teenagers in their element. All this dating nonsense. I, I just don't wrap my head around uh, why. Other than sex, really. Max, Honestly. I don't... Uh, calm down, guy. I'm, I'm getting my way over there, Warren. You're clearly Warren. Missing person everywhere, man. There's an RV here. What the crap? That layer of dust is begging for my finger. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. Not true. What was that, that weird shot, too? Is someone, like, looking at me from over there? I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Hello, doggy. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close... Cujo. Cujo. And this is a really old, rusted-out car. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Holy Sorry, crap, I didn't even notice the parking. Folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. And this is, isn't this... Isn't this sign means a handicapped parking spot? All right, sorry, Warren, I'm coming. Come on over here, please. Wow, this guy's so desperate for me. Come on, calm down. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Wow, no awkward problem. as crap. Oh my god. Check out my new wheels. Cool, very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh, just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange... The dude just asked me on a date and I completely I ignored bet. it. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Oh, come on. This guy is like, okay. I knew he posted it online. It's not a question. I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Just say yeah, and even if yeah, I haven't, I don't see a reason to... to... You got some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> Sounds weird. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. Okay, dude, stop it. I don't want to go on a date with you just yet. Maybe you're a nice guy, all right? But you're coming a little too strong. Like, your flirting skills need work. Don't want to speak about it? I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. Oh, God. For reals, Warren. That was messed up right there. Me, Tell me everything. Media. Don't insult me. 
Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real? It's called a period. Max Caulfield, right? Nope. That's the other guy. The Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. Where did you hear this? Where did this come from? You saw. Now. Answer what are you me, talking bitch. about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. <laughs> don't worry about yourself, man. <laughs> Take a step back. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butt heads here a little bit. Oh man, You're probably not a good idea. He has a gun, doesn't he? Away from her, dude. Oh, he, oh, okay. Talking about butt heads. Leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents. Not the principal. That. Or that whore Leave in the bathroom. <gasps> wow, that car really close Max? to hit me. Chloe? No, hey, it's wait. Chloe, the girl from the picture, you but not. Again. She's oh, blue-haired. You really don't. You're getting punched in the face. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Dude, you closed the door for me. Thank you. Nobody! And there's David Madsen. Finally coming to stop the day. Man, to stop the day? Did I just say that save the day? Is messed up but not really. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. <laughs> so we know this girl. She's apparently our friend from childhood. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. You did get shot, so that freak and then didn't get shot. I have no idea. I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him. Maybe I'll actually go on a date with him just once. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard. Nah. No, it Seattle's like awesome. A city for artists, big and bright, great for taking pictures. They do have that nudist colony. Yeah, <laughs> must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl, you came back for Blackwell Academy. Ugh, no thanks. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the Did country. Did not come back for that guy. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. Oh, okay, and you're so you that in there anyway. For a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. That's kind of a jerk move. I will, I will, I will say that's a really jerk move. Something I would I'm do, sorry. mind you. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. Good point. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. This is the kind of conversation I would have with I someone who got mad at me for not contacting them because I don't do that. But you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. See, now, now Max is being painted as kind of a jerk. Like a shy jerk. Like one who's... Who's so enfeebled by their insecurity that they can't even be bothered to contact people. And such, they get in trouble for it. Broken. No. Are you I broke wow. it once already and then I rewinded while. time. What am I going to do now? Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Also, the reason I talk over them is because if I didn't talk over them, I really would never talk because this game's all talking. It's like... Not all, but you know, there's a lot of dialogue in this game. It's very dialogue heavy because it's story heavy. If I didn't talk over them, I would Come basically in, never talk. Like, like I did with the first episode of Batman. Nice. Home shit home.
Kind of like that, actually. In Batman, where they would just talk constantly, and I just wouldn't... I wouldn't be able to talk because they kept talking, so I started talking over them eventually, and then... That's kind of what happened. So I have to do that for this, too. Hey, look! Acoustic music and establishing shots. Haven't seen that anywhere before. Everybody lies, no... Oh, this room's messed up, man. Everybody I lies, no extension. Think like it. a man. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Just gonna let go. Uh, clearly, she doesn't like her stepdad. And that is Thinkos where I'll call it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like down below, and I'll see you guys next time where we, uh. Where we uh, sort of explore Chloe's room a little bit. We haven't seen her in five years, right? And little does she know we saved her life. Oh, and she's smoking. Little does she know we saved her life. She actually got shot and died today. Shh, don't tell her. Anyway, see you guys next time.